Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be, is it worth it? And this is a product that I have seen for the past maybe like six months, maybe less. I'm not 100% sure when it came out, but I actually I'm trying to get myself straight. I apologize for the busy background, but there's a lot going on in my room, so we're just going to roll with it. So this is a product that I, from, from a skincare brand, that is extremely expensive. And I have never thought that I would ever own a product from this skincare brand because it is so exorbitantly expensive that there is no bone in my body that can justify the price tag. But I am a sucker. And I'm a sucker for good marketing. And I'm a sucker for a good name. And I'm a sucker for the language that beauty copywriters use. And I say this as a beauty copywriter, as a beauty marketer, as somebody who has had a career in the beauty space for almost six years. And I am the the best, I'm a marketing, I'm a marketer's best customer. It's a problem. And like every job that I've had, has said it to me every marketing like director has always said like Brianna is a sucker so the like I said I saw this and it just pulled me in and I said like one day I'm gonna buy this product we're gonna try it and the beauty of beauty is that you can return things. Like I hate when I see other people get on YouTube or on a blog and they don't like a product and they don't return it. Like I understand it's gonna get destroyed, but like just return it. Like what are, unless, or if you, if you wanna give it to somebody else, if you wanna sell it, but like sometimes things are too expensive to not return if you don't like them. So today's product that and I don't know if this is going to be a series, but it's definitely like a, is this product worth it? It is the Dr. Barbara Sturum Molecular Cosmetics Ski Cream. And this is what the packaging looks like. Um, it Dr. Barbara Sturum is a um, German brand. This product was made in Germany. The first um like these are the ingredients they're all in german and then english is underneath um the same thing here so dr Bar barbara sturm is a i want to say she's a dermatologist um who um started a cosmetics brand fairly recently within the past year and a half and she has very expensive products. They're supposed to be really great products. They're very expensive. I think the cheapest thing in her line is maybe $95. This was $115. I got it at Sephora. Um, and the reason that it pulled me in is because it was marketed as a ski cream and it's basically like a really thick cream that would protect your skin against the cold weather. I am somebody with extremely dry skin. I have eczema. I don't necessarily get eczema on my face. I do get it on my eyes and I do get it around my lips, but I mostly get it around other parts of my body. And in the past, when I was commuting to work in a not pre-COVID world, the commuting in Manhattan and on the train, you're you're sometimes walking against the wind. So the wind is blowing against your face and it is freezing. Like I would get onto a train and my face would be, like I wouldn't be able to feel my face for like 10 minutes because my face was so cold and then my skin feels dry and cracked and just like irritated from the cold and from the wind, like you get wind burn. Um, so I figured, granted I'm not commuting, but my, it's still cold outside, I'm still outside. And I'm still exposing my skin to extremely cold temperatures. I mean, like yesterday it was like 20 degrees and um, it was really windy outside. So I figured this would be like an interesting product to use. 
and I and I have and like I said the fact that it's called like a ski, ski cream I'm not somebody who skis but I love the idea of skiing I love the phrase a price ski I love ski clothing I love the idea of sitting in a ski lodge with a fire I love the I just love that whole like winter higgy skiing vibe so I was like this is perfect so let, first let me read the description so it says the very rich Dr. Sturm and I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right ski cream on a on a water in oil basis offers optimum protection against the cold in extreme climactic conditions during skiing it provides the skin with a protective shield against wind cold and rough climates an active ingredient complex of balloon vine black currant oil and anti-aging powerhouse purlisane have an intensive calming effect reducing the appearance of skin redness that arises during skiing combining with shea butter and valuable jojoba oil in the support of the natural skin barrier so it's basically supposed to protect your skin barrier from the extreme cold and provide a calming effect i ordered this mid-december came pretty i ordered it from sephora i have flash two-day shipping from sephora but the post office and everything was so messed up. So I probably got it. I probably ordered at the beginning of December, came in December. It's now the end of December. It's December 30th. This is the size of it. It fits in my hand like this. It is one ounce. I knew it was an ounce. I did not expect it to be the size, basically the size of my palm. So in that aspect, it's not worth it. I mean, is $115 moisturizer necessary? No, but I also have the $100 Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream Light, and I find that extremely worth it, but it's also a lot bigger. It's more luxurious packaging. It it's You're getting your like money's worth. It's also like a, a good moisturizer. So this is the packaging. It has an adorable little polar bear on it. It's a squeezy pump. It's a squeezy tube. The back is all in German. It's one fluid ounce. Um, yeah, it's cute packaging, very simple, very like aesthetic, but not $115 worth. It's just very tiny. And like, like when I got it, I was like, oh, this is much smaller than I expected. But I digress. So if you squeeze it out, you could see that it squeezes out in very little amounts. It squeezes out very slowly. And it is a very emollient moisturizer. It's very thick. It's not tacky. It's not sticky. Like my, my, it's not sticking to my hand, but it's almost like it, it's just such a thick, thick moisturizer. And it almost feels like, it feels like Vaseline without any oiliness, greasiness, tackiness, anything like that. But, but and, and your skin does feel moisturized afterwards. I struggle with this because I do think it's a, probably a good moisturizer. I'm pretty sure I had an allergic reaction to it because I started breaking out all on my forehead I just started breaking out and my skin got very very itchy and very irritated and I just don't think that like I feel like CeraVe probably does the same thing and this is a very thick moisturizer like it's very like look at how slow that squeezes out and the thing is is that not a lot squeezes out at a time and it doesn't spread like I'm wasting a lot of product, but newsflash, I'm returning it. Like, if you see that little spot, it doesn't, it doesn't spread easily because it is so thick. I understand that it is supposed to be that thick because it's supposed to protect your skin and there's like a lot of good ingredients in it, but it's just, you're going to have, you have to use so much to get it spread across your face 
like like that's how much comes out and then like you can't really rub it I have can I have like it's just you would have to use too much and I feel like it's not like you're going to be wasting a lot of product. I don't think you're going to get a ton of uses out of this. I think for the everyday person, this is not worth it. Not at $115, not in one fluid ounce, and not for the amount of product you get in each squeeze. Like I'm used to squeezing out a moisturizer and it's a thick, like I've used thick moisturizers, but you're getting a lot more. Like it's a bigger dollop in your hand. So this is not worth it. It is not worth it for the price tag. It is not worth it for the packaging and it's not worth it for the amount of product you're getting. Now, if you are somebody who lives in a ski environment if you live in like I live in New York it's cold but it's not unbearably cold at least for me and I'm not I'm not skiing if you're somewhere where like if you're in Canada if you're in Salt Lake City if you're in um like upstate New York where you get a lot of snow and it's very rough climate and you're somebody who really needs like protection against the weather then this is probably worth it because when I do apply it, I do feel moisturized and I feel protected because it's such a thick formula. It does feel like you have an extra layer of protection, but not to the point where it's annoying. Like I applied this, I don't feel it on my skin for as thick as it is, but I just don't think it's necessary for as an everyday moisturizer. I, I don't think that, to be honest, I'm thinking of it now, this isn't supposed to be used as an everyday moisturizer. It is supposed to be used if you're skiing, if you're snowboarding, if you're somebody who works outside, if you're somebody, maybe it would be more worth it to me if I was commuting into Manhattan every day like I usually do during the winter. I think this is a very niche product and Personally, I thought it was just like another marketing ploy, but I really do think that this is supposed to be used only when you're skiing or only when you're in such a climate that your skin needs that extra protection. As an everyday moisturizer, no, absolutely not. If you have been wondering about this, save your money or buy it, try it, return it. And if you are somebody who is skiing or snowboarding or going on like a winter getaway like if you're going to Aspen or like I said I keep saying Salt Lake City because I'm thinking about the housewives of Salt Lake City and like this is who should use that product the, the woman of Salt Lake City um like send it to Jen Shaw and Heather because this is this is probably helpful for them but for me a 28 year old girl living in New York during the middle of a pandemic where I'm not planning on going skiing at all. No, this is getting returned. I'm getting my $115 back and that's that. I just, I, I was hoping for more. I was expecting to really like it and I wasn't expecting to have an allergic reaction to it either, but it's just not necessary. So my consensus is, is that if you are looking for a regular everyday moisturizer, a really thick emollient one, this is not it. This is actually supposed to be a ski cream and not supposed to be an everyday moisturizer, in my opinion. I'm not a dermatologist, but I do work in beauty. I have been beauty blogging for almost nine years and I have spent copious amounts of money on trying to help my dry skin and this is just not it so this is going back to sephora i will probably just stick to my charlotte tilbury magic cream light for now which i also think might be breaking me out I'm not sure um and i will continue to be on the hunt for a really thick really nice moisturizer that protects my skin from the cold weather but the barbara sturm ski cream if you're not skiing it's a skip so that's that. Let me know if you have any questions. Leave it in the comments below. Um, and go follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, TikTok, 
sign up for my newsletter, so go read my blog. I blog there four to five times a week. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.